we uh, made the plate so we can glue them in and then we're gonna bondo it so we can uh, snap the mold off this old dash. Our first plate uh, prep just scuffed so the glue will stick, uh, acetone. And then uh, we take the dry brush, just make sure all this dirt's out of here. Doing curing, I'm um, just using flex paste glue shit. Um, one of the plates here, just smeared it all in. Just gonna pop that in there. let it cure and then that should be uh, good to go. It's deep enough where I can bond it over it and make it all smooth. So yeah. is just uh, snapped into place. If you make your plates tight enough, um, you won't need a clamp like I had to do to that one. Oh, this one just snapped right in and it's got, uh, it's deep enough that I can just bondo over top of it and it's good to go. All the plates are now in and the silicone is drying or the rubber. Um, we just use clamps and Clicos. So those are Clicos, clamps. It's all in there. Just uh, it's gonna just rough seams because it's just gonna be bondoed afterwards until it's all smooth and ready for the mold. Uh, yeah, see you in the morning. But the next day now all these panels are in and the dash is braced. And there, so it doesn't flex once it's uh, started to get bondoed and folded in. Okay, so we got all the bondo on. Just waiting for that to cure and then do another layer and then sand it off. This is gonna take a lot to just fill up and sand flat. And then the dash is gonna get skimmed to fill all the tiny little imperfections. Body work's not fun, is it? No. Sand, Mexican sand. It's the perfect contour. Look at that. Perfect radius. Fucking mint. <laughs> Okay, so big update. Totally fucked up and didn't film anything, but uh, this is heavy fill primer. Um, basically got everything borderline smooth and this just fills all the very small crevices. We got a few imperfections we gotta fix. And then once we fix all the imperfections, we're gonna hit it again, sand it smooth. Then we're just gonna hit it with uh, enamel and that'll make it so we can uh, just polish it and uh, yeah, lay our release film and be able to gel coat it and snap mold off. I swear, you're like, you gotta be Mexican. The way you lay paint. No wonder, if you lay bag as good as you fucking lay paint, your little lady's never gonna leave. Oh my God. Buddy, that goes on like hot glass. It's all black now, but uh, overnight when it was drying, it uh, was dropped. So, we got a crack up here. Minor scuffs here and there. It's not bad. Just sanded it all out. Just gonna tape off a section, repaint it, and uh, should be good. Still kind of has a crack there. Kind of fixed that, filled that up. 
built this stand to hold it so you know it uh won't fall again i did 800 grit dry and then i did a thousand grit wet um and that kind of gave us the finish we we're looking for first layer of wax on there um i'm gonna cover it with sheet and then tomorrow we're gonna come back wax it some more and then hopefully get some gel coat on here and yeah just start making the mold got the board on got the clay on uh so i'm just gonna clean up the bench a bit because it's a mess and uh yeah that just sealed the little crack along the edge just so it doesn't get stuck in the in the mold just put that on there that's a lot better and it's all clean um yeah so we're just about ready what we're gonna use is this stuff here it's the uh parallel paste uh release wax that's a physical release then we'll be using the uh pva film which that's a chemical release and then uh or orange tooling gel coat or scale to measure that up a bunch of cups and other stuff or resins over there and uh yeah so let's uh start waxing uh, the dash is all finished being waxed um i hear two kind of different things a lot of people say just put it on one thick coat because the point of the wax is to when the gel coat resin heats up it'll melt and that's what's going to uh, create that physical release i've also seen people say you wax on wax off like three to like five times people said so i kind of did a bit of both because i wasn't sure uh, it's the first time doing this so i just did waxed on waxed off and then um just kind of did like a thicker layer on there that's it there you can kind of see the wax is on there kind of dry but yeah, now it's time to uh, use the uh, PVA release film. You know what we deleted a video of Mark crashing his car that was eight minutes long just so you could film this? I want to watch Mark crashing his yes. car. Yes. Okay, so we got this all PVA'd. Should be good. We brushed it on. Could be better, but it's good for a first time. My anyway, uh, yeah. Gel coat, hardener. It's going to go on there. Yeah. Yeah. If you just try to get so, it. Put all the fucking gel coat on now. Just, uh, ideally you'd want to spray this on, but, uh, you know, we're trying it the cheap way. Spray booth is busy today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna pick up a cheap primer gun to do PVA and uh, gel coat. The PVA laid on all right, but definitely gonna want to use a primer gun next time. I'll probably do another another layer of gel coat after this one. Make sure everything is covered. So yeah, we'll get back. So the dash is now laid uh, good surface veil, which is this stuff right here. It's just uh, thin fiberglass, so it doesn't bleed right through the gel coat. So we did a layer of that, and then we did a three layer of one and a half ounce chop strand mat. And uh, yeah, then now it's time to uh, just take a flapper disc, just gonna take all this edges, excess shit off, and then, uh, yeah, time to pop it out. Okay, so that was the process, uh, got all this trimmed. Basically just cut off all the excess and then took a flapper disc to it until kind of just went down to the material. In this corner. So now, we just break that off. Okay, so we got that off. You can kind of see the clay there. So now we're just gonna kind of go around and pop it all off, the off camera, just by myself. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get a satisfying shot of it just popping out. We're filming this way because Jesse does everything in vertical video because his eyes are like this, not side by side. He's nine by 16. Well, after an hour of fucking this thing, we are... Here's the unveiling of Jesse's first mold. Let's go for it. There you go, buddy. She looks mint. Let's 
light sanding there, but. I need to sand and polish. That's all PVA. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Want to get the steam? Okay, so now we're just cleaning all the PVA stuff, which is water soluble. So, kind of see it there. Right here, better spot. Just wipes right clean. Mm -hmm. 